All right, we're back here in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I was told to come out here for some reason. I, th I think. No? <laughs> I thought there was like a quest to go out here. If I had... Okay, I suppose I'm just imagining that. Now let me be on my merry way then. Uh, to the next area we go. I talked to the... Um, Pearl leader. I didn't mean to, but basically, there's a new guy. He's gonna help me get to the the highlands. So that's what's it. unlock this area. This sounds fun. I'm feeling some snow coming up. I'm gonna mountainous region. That's cool. The Cornet Highlands. It's this guy. Hey. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokemon wandering around these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath the Great Rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. <clears throat> Truly. Uh, I got... An interesting item from, like, a quest. The Link Cable. Now, this should let us uh, evolve a Pokemon that is, um, you know, like Haunter or Machoke. There's usually a few Pokemon in each game that require uh, that to evolve, but I'm not actually going to... Um, what's it called? Uh, I'm not going to use it yet. Reason being is I don't know how many Pokemon there's going to be where, like, I can catch, like, an alpha of the third version or just a third version that's roaming around. And so I don't want to spend the item and then feel like a doofus because I could have just caught it normally. So, you know, that's that. Let's get Teddy Ursa in the party and uh, get on with it. Got Piplup. He's probably going to be too weak to... Uh, to play around, but I used every experience candy I had on him. You, you come up. There you are. Oh, I mean, I just wanted you to say hey. Pretty cool. I like Piplup. Who is this? It's Clefable. A nose pass or Probo pass. Okay, so we got one of these guys. here Very cool, got a Yon Mega. If I... Whoa, this area looks big. Uh, can I zoom in? Yeah, here we go. So I can go into the Wayward Cave 
through here. I suppose? Where's the wayward cave? Through that waterfall? I suppose so. <laughs> we gotta try it. We gotta try it. That's awesome. Okay, no, uh, no cool swimming up the waterfall, I suppose. I'm about to hit a wall. Okay, pretty, pretty close to one. I was also totally misreading the map. Is this like just this area? If so, this is gigantic. This is gonna take me eons to explore. <clears throat> well, I'm excited. even excited to go and explore the places that I could otherwise not normally reach but um, you know I figure with that I'm going to uh, rather than go go there now with my water ability I know that there's a provirey based on the trailers where I can um, I can eventually fly in this game and so, once I have every mode of traversal, then I'll go back and re-explore the other areas. Burmy. Oh no, it's uh we're madam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. Uh let's try a bubble. I wanna take him out. That's not good. Okay, let's get right you out there, except he's also a ground type? Seems like a rock type. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can hit him with Spore. You know, I really love if Braylon was in this game. Like, what happened to my boy? Not allowed to use him in Sword and Shield. And now this. Like, where is he? He still has, he had a Pokemon card somewhat recently, but like I've, I've got, I've got nothing. As we thought, Piplup is not uh, quite battle ready with his uh, very weak demeanor. So let's evolve him into Printplup. I think that's his name, Princeton. <laughs> Something with a prince. There he is, our beautiful boy, Printplup. I bet I got some cool moves I can learn. Roost? 
I mean, come on. That's awesome. Being honest, I just kind of want the item. Goodbye now. This is the new character here. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching a Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. So true. It's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Well, well. Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan. And oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from be before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But, by sheer t tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Oh, I didn't mean to say absolutely not. Huh, well, ta let me in. Uh, the Great Melly, Nobles, Almighty Sinnoh, because it makes them stronger. Do I really need a spell if it's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh the Diamond Clan lives as it is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it to the galaxy teams anyway if Electros let, Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? <clears throat> really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. I did not mean to not challenge you to a battle. What a selfish outlook. Those frenzies cause Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Michael? You press on. Very well, the tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler. What? You must pass through your wayward cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk which are quite at home in navigating the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Okie dokie, then. What do we have out here, though? Like much. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly trying attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor fell weather should delay us. Onward we roll. Take care to not become uncoupled from me. Oh. What is this? I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. This is a weird way games like to deliver story now, where you have to press forward and watch a cutscene. It names escapes me, but I remember that a blah 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 uh, come to light, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. 
Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone as competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Take care to not come uncoupled from me. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle discuss Pokemon, I think. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be? I don't know what those are. Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Did you just casually light the whole cave? I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by the torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. But you know, now we gotta explore it. Get free iron chunks too. It's like one of the most valuable items. As of late, anyway. That's cool. Oh yeah. You gotta love this. What did I have to do with these things? Throw a Pokemon at a Pokeball at them? Uh oh, I'm forgetting. It's not a key item, is it? So that's the way out. I don't want out, though. I want cool Pokemon. Ooh. There's the Barboach. This cash. Oh, there's that Crobat. This way. Oh, interesting. I wonder where that tunnel of light leads. It's different from that one. I mean, okay, I, I guess we'll just go to battle, I suppose. My Raichu would come out. Uh, 
Oh, it's still filled with night. I sp okay. Um, maybe that's why I can't catch it. Oh well. Good old friendship stat is not. Oh no, that's not. That's not what I meant to do at all. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. That can stay there. Did he go away? Oh, he's still there? Maybe? Okay. We just gotta take this battle. I think he really still never misses, right? Ooh, very nice. Okay. This has got to be money. I'm not even going to use an Ultra Ball. You looking like a great ball right now, my boy. We gotta explore a little more of this. I suppose that's where we came from. Maybe that's why what that other bout of light is. supposed to do something that well that was worth backtracking for man I remember gibble a bite. Guard chomp. Not very good in the spin-off games, but my goodness, did they run the entire game when it came to Diamond and Pearl. So that's our entrance. Which means that this other one that's by the water. Should be something else, right? I don't think it connects. Eh, it kind of seems like it does. Let's just pop out just to see. Ah, yes. It seems like I think I saw on that map it said like there were different exits of Wayward Cave. 
Meaning, this should go to a few different places. Get lost, aren't I? Follow the torches. Professor Leventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I had never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing here in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which was eventually why I eventually became a warden. But I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Oh, get over yourself, Zubat. So now we're overlooking where we were. Very cool. <laughs> Parasite, trust me, you do not want that heat, my boy. You need to get out that street. So much easier to get a weird deer if Stantler is a higher level. Cool to like, take one of these dudes out. Let's see if we can accommodate. You'll like honey because you're a moth. Moths like honey, huh? It's filled with wild might. That's not really going to save you now, is it? Goodness gracious, let's go. Infernape, my boy. Okay, so it said he... Oh, Teddy Ursa can evolve. Raging Fury? What? 
Interesting. 90 power, 85 accuracy. I don't know if I love that. Yeah, I don't like it. That's cool. I wonder how to get the other one. Do I evolve Ursaring? Or is it like an alternate evolution? That is the question. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is where I was supposed to go. That's funny. We know that's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go exploring aimlessly until I find all the coolest Pokemon. And only then will we worry about uh, the game. Boring. Not interested in the story, guys. The game, the, the end of the game is spoiled by the box art. I know it's gonna be Arceus. Oh, is this like a different part of the cave? Uh, or is, am I just like seeing things? No, I'm pretty sure this is where I came out of. Oh, but you know I gotta get the hair across. Okay. Here's a sec, you gotta get out of the way. Oh, hair across wants to join in. That's not good. Let's put someone in the front who has health. What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Did you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguished those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my wet efforts to waste. If you think I'm, I'm just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Michael? I'll beat him. Go, Skuntank. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. 
Did he just make a fart joke? <laughs> Did this game just make a fart joke? <laughs> oh my gosh, why? Oh man. Oh wow. That did a lot of damage. Man, Calm Mind is too good in this game. Is it gonna do it? Yep. Bye, Skin Tank. Listen here, neither I nor Skun Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skun Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Okie dokie. Uh, is he gonna battle me again? Just in case he does, let's get Raichu back up to speed. Oh no, this is this guy. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build a, the temple atop the mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left here should serve as, to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you go, and go. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered it that it could be somehow caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think that the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose those questions to Michael, I think, if it's to do with the rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Michael? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever's on the other side of the rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Yep, that makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that the space-time rift has also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it, uh, for as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out from the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why is this time space-time rift reopened when it closed so long ago? Why would Michael have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of the ruins and a little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Michael. Until next time, then. I would say he seems suspicious, but it seems like uh, pretty much everyone in this game is exists to serve the player character. Even this guy that's antagonistic around us, he'll he'll come around. Get more bronze ores. A bronze song. Oh, 
Nice. Got that out just in the nick of time. Got a history with Bronzong. He's fun to play with in the Diamond and Pearl generation. It's kind of funny that that's probably the generation of Pokemon I've spent the most time with. That's when I got into competitive battling. Um, all the legendary Pokemon you can get in the post game. It was good fun, but um, but yeah, just not not interested in playing the remakes to be honest. All these scary bears. These very scary berries. I didn't mean to do that. But is that Luxray? I think it is. Yeah. I didn't really mean to do that. Keep getting the Y button and the B button mixed up. stats and Luxray is already super weak. But I've heard in this game with the whole grit gravel system you can kind of make any Pokemon good. I didn't spend a whole bunch of time involving Shinx. There's this guy again. Oh, he wants to get the camp set up. Ah, oh, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you were all planning to set up camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that Bronzor is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so I can't ignore it either. Please, do you think you can find out what Bronzor wants? Is there something over that way? I'm trying to fly. There's another bronze ore.
Well, that sneeze triggered an evolution from Printlup. Which doesn't make sense if you've got a girl. Because it like, you know, kind of messes up the, uh, the naming conventions. But as long as you don't keep it middle evolution by Empoleon, you know, it's Emperor's uh, sort of gender neutral, though you might go with Empress. I'm overthinking this, but... I want to change your name. I want to change your move, sir. Flash cannon is cool. Liquidation. Better than water pulse. I don't remember Empoleon's stats. I don't know if they're more special or uh, physical, but I'm not going to be using him long enough to really uh, make a difference. I saw Bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What? Bronzor, it's wounded. That's no good at all. I'll fix it right up. That should do it. Bronzor should be as fit as a fiddle now. Seems the bronze or at the new campsite was looking for a friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it, otherwise we may have been late to treat this bronze ore. This land is dangerous even for the Pokemon they call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a lineup of where stocked for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, it seems base camp has been all set up while we were talking, in which case I should get settled in. So long. Cool. Now I can go back if I want to. Um, I don't know if I need to. If the base camp can accommodate me switching Pokemon and emptying my satchel, then I think we're pretty well set. Ursaring evolves. I really don't know. But I could bring little Gibble with me. I just, I, I'm just not really clicking with any of the Pokemon, which is weird. I'd love a Mudkip. I'd love a Breloom. Um, but, yeah, a lot of the other guys are just... Just not really clicking with this time around. I like Togekiss. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. In any case, uh, that's going to be the end of this little journey here. Join me next time as I uh, continue the climb of Mount Coronet.